Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a Play-Doh fingerprint reader hack. To keep Friday's story quick and light, I just wanted to share a fun and interesting way a company showed how you could quickly hijack the fingerprint reader on an iPhone. People at the company called Vacancy showed how to do this, and it was very simple. They started with the molding clay that dentists use, and they took a mold of someone's finger. Once they had the mold, they simply took some off-the-shelf Play-Doh and pushed it against the mold to create this fake fingerprint, which easily unlocked the iPhone. And by the way, the company Vacancy is doing this to show you why their fingerprint technology, which is higher resolution, is much better. Anyways, it just was a fun and cheap way to show you how easy it is to defeat things like the iPhone's fingerprint reader. And it goes to show you that when things like biometrics look super secure, there's always ways hackers can defeat them. And that's why the practical tip for today's video is not to rely on one token off authentication. There's all kinds of different tokens that you can authenticate with. A lot of people say passwords are dead. I tend to disagree. I think there's ways of using very long and strong passwords and different passwords everywhere that still provide a decent means of authentication. But there's ways around everything. There's ways around passwords, there's ways around biometrics, there's ways around hardware tokens, there's ways around certificates that bad guys can find. And that's why the best thing to secure your authentication is use multiple tokens. Use passwords and biometrics, or certificates and hardware tokens. Whatever they are, using multiple tokens are really what's going to keep your credentials secure. Anyways, very interesting story. Now before I end, I just wanted to mention I'll be attending the RSA Security conference next week. And while it provides a lot of new content that I might make videos about, I tend not to have time during this conference, so I won't be posting a video every day, maybe one or two during that week. I'll be sure to resume the normal video schedule the following week. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.